are on the combustion chamber side of the uh, uh, Pro Max 200 cc cylinder head and amazingly enough there's not a tremendous amount to do there's a little bit of machinist ridge it's one of the lowers that I've seen and typically how I do this is I'll take a couple of valves and drop down in there let me show you one I've already set up and then I'll go in there with my grinder and blend and trim. I do go up right in here and touch it some and right in here and try to unshroud it a little bit. That's what I want to be doing right now and finishing this thing up. And uh, hopefully we can gain a few flow numbers through the combustion chambers. I, once again, I will say this. This is one of the least machinist ridge and best floor shaped combustion chambers even when comparing it to a Brodex or dart cylinder head that I've ever done because usually there's big hunks of metal chunks right here where I gotta cut the ridges and try to blend them because you don't want a big ridge above the seat you want it to be leveled so let's go in here and take a look at what we're doing and start trimming on this thing okay I'm going to take my finger pointer and all I'm going to do is bring down It's one of them times that I wish I could show you uh, up close the amount of ridge. It's not much, but still. It just, uh, it's enough that it would aggravate the airflow. Alright, and then a little bit, not too bad on the intake side. It's mainly on the exhaust. But I do go in here and do some digging right here. And then, of course, up on top. Now, what I'm going to do after I get through with this rough grinding is I'm going to switch to a stone and take the valves out. Now, there it gets just a little bit hairy. you got to really be careful because you sure don't want to scar up them seats in here. So, let's go ahead. the main thing that's as far as I can go let's get another angle as far as I can go with the valves in the head I'll have to go in there and remove them out there is a little bit of trimming if you can see but not much I do go in there and touch that shape but I have to switch to a different cutter I'll use an egg start right here and lay that back just a little bit and then that pretty much takes care of the combustion chamber part um, I'll go ahead and, and, and get ready to do the next part, which is the ball, and show you how I shape it, and then the stones touching them off, 
and then we'll go to the next episode which is uh, the exhaust port side of the head beautiful exhaust port by the way okay on the reverse side of the chamber which is our I call it long turn side I'm gonna take this giant egg and I'm gonna go in here and do a swoop uh, a dig a, a dig and a leftward pull to come up I don't want to get too close to the edges but I don't like the pitch angle of it right here. It should have more of a, of, a, of a gradual release. It's kind of a straight inclined shot right here. And I'm gonna do it right up to the spark plug. So it's gonna actually have a dig or what some people might refer to as a swirl type um, uh, implantation of the chamber mods. So, um, I'm going to do that and also it's not quite to the gasket line and in doing this I'm going to pull this chamber down to here for that right there is going to help our high lift flow a whole lot and I'm going to use the line of the spark plug to stop it so that way I can equalize all the chambers but once again this is my rough cutter I'll do it with that then I'll take a smaller egg to touch it and blend it and then stone it and polishing it these chambers uh, are one of the most aggravating things to do because it's bad on your cutters for one thing because uh, of the location of the seats cutting all that excess overhang or machinist ridge material out but it's the fact that you have to make the cutter speed go so slow because you're, you're playing with fire right here because if you run off and damage one of these seats you're in a mess because then you got to cut the seat out, dig the seat, go to an oversized seat. So it's just a lot of caution, but it's worth the trouble because a well laid in chamber, not polished. Polishing don't mean nothing. I mean, for all intents and purposes, I could leave this thing rough cut as hell like this. It just doesn't matter. The polishing just don't do anything. But, um, what what makes all the difference is not having any machinist ridge and after that angle turns there's nothing in the way to block it no little rise or anything so that the gases can just flow right off uh, either going into the seat or coming out mainly on the intake that's most important of all so let's get some movement here and show you how I take that big burr and pull that in let's get a side angle view okay and like I said, I'm going to start because I don't like the way that that big is. I'm going to start here. You can see how I kind of come down and pull toward the circle to give me a little bit more exit room. And then I come up with Now I like that. I like how now it's got a roll and coming off to the edge of that spark plug. Now you'll notice right here I still got my ridges and what I have to use is I'm going to have to use a stone and a sand roll to pull them engine in with the valve out of the head. But this is the shape that I got. It alters it just a little bit but it's worth the trouble. I can, I, I can promise you that. Alright, so that's the rough cut material. The next thing I'll show you how I touch it with the stones and